hi welcome back if you're new here my name is Buki Sheila I'm a pattern dressmaker and in today's video I'll be showing you how to draft a basic sleeve pattern to draft a sleeve pattern you must have a dress or a blouse in which you want to attach the sleeve to so you need to measure the pattern of the exact dress or the blouse you'll be attaching the sleeve to you need to measure the ammo curve on both the front and the back whatever you have you need to subtract 10 cm from whatever you have and the number left becomes the width of your sleeve so let's say for example you have 50 cm on both the front and the back you subtract 10 cm from it and you're left with 40 cm so that 40 cm automatically becomes the width of the sleeve and that should be the width of the paper you should be using to draft your sleeve so in my case the circumference of the hammer on both the front and back is 47 cm 57 cm sorry so i subtracted 10 cm from it and that leaves me with 47 cm so the width of my paper is 47 cm now there's something called the sleeve chart so on the sleeve chart as you can see on the right please make sure to screenshot this chart so we have something called the top arm the crown depth the point b and point f so the top arm is whatever you have as the arm or measurement after subtracting 10 from it whatever you have which becomes the width of the sleeve that's the top arm so in my case the top arm is 47 so i'll go to the point where i have 47 and on that line as you can see 47 the current depth for 47 is 16.5 and the point b is 7 or 7 plus so when it is 7 or 7 plus you can use any number from 7 to 7.4 okay and the point f automatically becomes 7.5 so what if for example the point b is 7 the point f needs to be 7.5 so you add 0 0.5 to whatever your point b is and that is how you get the point f okay so i have written down the measurements i need which is the crown depth the point b and the point f okay so whatever yours is for if yours is 50 you go to the line where 50 is and you work with that line of the measurement okay i hope that is clear so now you need to divide the paper into four equal parts so because the width of my paper is 47 47 divided by 4 that gives me 11.75 so i'll mark 11.75 on each line and then i'll draw a straight line using my ruler once that is done i'll move forward to measuring the crown depth from the top of the paper downward i'll measure 16.5 which is the crown depth in my case so whatever your measurement is you have to follow the measurement on that line like i said if yours is 40 50 you have to go to 40 and work with the measurement on the 40 line or whatever it is okay now i'm done drawing the lines next thing i'll label the pattern as f and b so the F is the front, which is the right side of the paper, and the left side is the back, which is labeled as B. And now I'm just measuring the crown depth, which is 16 cm, 16.5 cm, and I'll draw a straight line across using my ruler. Now 
next i'll measure the length of my sleeve in my case the length of my sleeve is 65 cm so i'm just going to mark that and i'll move back to the up of the sleeve pattern now it's time to mark the point b and the point f so remember the point b is 7 cm so from the top of the paper i'll measure down 7 cm and i'll mark that's for the back and on the right side which is the front point f i'll measure 7.5 cm and i'll mark next i'll get my ruler and i'll draw a line from the middle of the paper passing through the 7 cm on the left side which is the back and i'll draw the line down to the left and I'll repeat the same thing on the right side of the paper, which is the front. Draw a line passing through the 7.5 line and then to the right. Okay, so once that is done, next thing is to divide each of the balls into to get the midpoint and just mark. Okay, so just follow what I'm doing. It's really self-explanatory major what you have on each line of the box get the midpoint and mark so on this part i'm just going over the measurements again to make sure i mark the the midpoint the the midpoint yeah so once this part is done now it's time to draw some measurement up and down so on the back side which is on the left side i'll measure down one cm and just draw the line so the line should be parallel to the crown just as i'm placing the tape okay so i'll mark one cm and draw the line downward on the second box i'll also do the same place the tape parallel to the edge and mark one cm up okay so i'm going to label the the measurement so you see what i'm doing and so you don't you know forget the measurement and on the third box the measurement will be 1.2 cm upward and the tape is placed parallel again to the edge of the paper and lastly on the fourth box it's 2 cm downward so the right side of the paper is the is the front of the sleeve and the front of the sleeve is always lower than the back okay so once this is done before connecting the point I'll get the elbow of my sleeve so to get the elbow of the sleeve I'm just going to measure the length of my sleeve again from the top of the paper to my sleeve the length to the to my sleeve length so I'm just measuring my sleeve length to be sure of that I'll mark that out and then measure from the crown line to the length of my sleeve get the midpoint the midpoint becomes the elbow point okay so I'll get the midpoint, mark that, and I'll draw a line across using my ruler, and I'll label the line as the elbow line. So now remember, this is a basic sleeve, and I am not going to be shipping this sleeve because it's the basic, okay? So but I'm just going to show you how to shape a sleeve if you want to shape a sleeve so now i'll measure my wrist get the width of my wrist and whatever that measurement is i'll divide it into two and then take the measurement like half of the measurement to the right and the other half to the left and then you just connect using a straight ruler from the crown down to the marked point but on this video i'm not going to be marking that out this is just to show you how to do it if you want to do that maybe on another video i'll show you how to do a different sleeve but this is the basic so whatever sleeve you're making you have to start from this before 
any other style of sleeve okay so now it's time to draw the sleeve head and i'll be using this arm o curve and a french curve so as you can see the curvy part is placed on on the upper part so this is the head of the sleeve i'll place the curvy part like so making sure the the curve pass right on top of the one cm i drew up okay so i just changed that curve and i'm using my french curve now so place it from the top of from the center of the paper passing through the one cm we drew up and just you know draw the line and then you have to flip the curve over so watch this i just turned the curve over and now the curvy part is on the lower part okay so this is how you connect the head of your sleeve so the reason i changed the curve these curves are both the same i change it because i don't want to move the paper around so i'm just trying to do it on like on one particular place i don't because if i use the bigger curve i'll have to move the the pattern so i'm trying not to move the pattern so now i'll repeat the same thing making sure the curve pass through the 1.2 cm we took on the right side which is the front part or flip the curve over again and connect the last part of the sleeve so remember this part we came down 2 cm so the curve must pass through the 2 cm and then to the right so this is it for the basic sleeve this is how to draft a basic sleeve pattern so like i said on my next video or i don't know <coughs> yet so i'll be showing you how to draft other styles of sleeve but for today this is the basic sleeve so i'm just leaving the pattern so you know cf and cb so you know which part is the front and which part is the back and you'll be cutting two of these to get the two um of your sleeve okay thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video bye